This is what many of you have been requesting, Doom. Doom is a 2016 first-person shooter video game, and these are the minimum system requirements of this game. The game runs on the ID Tech 6 engine, and I must admit, I'm not very familiar with this engine. It's my first time tweaking ID Tech 6 engine game, but I do know some tweaks that might make the game run better, perhaps not simple, but let's see how it goes. Now let's dive in and get started. Firstly, I'm going to run this game using my integrated graphics. I've set the screen resolution to 1080p, and every other graphics setting is at its lowest preset. Additionally, the resolution scaler is set to 50%, and unfortunately, you cannot go lower than this. I've found that running the game with the OpenGL API provides better performance as compared to the Vulkan API. Now let's observe how it performs. From my perspective, the game is still delivering playable FPS. However, as always, our goal is to achieve even better performance. Now, let's quit the game and see what we need to do to enhance its performance. The configuration file of this game is located inside your saved games folder, ID Software, Doom, and then the base folder. Unfortunately, we can't do much with this seemingly useless file, so it's best to leave it as is. You can gain full access to the game's console by adding this DLL file to your game directory. You can easily download this DLL file from the description, and after downloading, simply drag and drop it into your game directory. But what does it do? Well, you can still access the console of the game without using this DLL file, but it has some restrictions. You can only access a few console variables, essentially, this DLL file breaks these restrictions, allowing you to fully access all those variables. Now, launch the game, and let's start tweaking. You can open the console by pressing the tilde key on your keyboard. To disable all particle effects, add R underscore skip particles and set its value to 1. This will completely disable particles from the game. You can disable shadows by adding R underscore skip shadows and setting its value to 1. And boom! The shadows are completely gone. You can disable fog completely by adding R underscore skip fog and setting its value to 1. Also, make sure to disable multi-samples by adding R underscore multi-samples and setting its value to zero. You can disable the dynamic environment by adding R underscore use dynamic environment and setting its value to zero. Keep in mind that I'm currently recording my screen, so what you're seeing here does not accurately represent the actual performance. You can also force the game to run on the lowest texture quality. In other words, you can also enable the potato preset by adding VT underscore LOD bias and setting its value to 15. It's actually kind of funny that we can see the non-textured terrain So these are the variables I showed you, but you can get a list of all variables by adding list CVARs. This is how you can access all of the variables. If you find this a bit challenging, I've left a download link in the description with more variables. So that's it for today, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe, and also share this video with your low-spec friends so they can also play Doom 2016 on their low-end machines. I'll see you all again in the next video. Until next time... Take care and bye.